Hello everyone. Uh, it's it's that time for some Rayman. It's the PS1 version for uh, uh, PS1 version 1995 release, the definitive favorite version of the game. Um, this is the 100% category, which is honestly not a lot different to any percent. But what's included in this is you get to watch me do all the magicians as well, and also. You get to see the Mr. Sachs boss fight, which is skipped in any present. So, there's also that. <clears throat> which is a cool, there is a cool strat for the fight, which you can, you can beat him really quickly. So, uh, other than that, I'm pretty good to go. So, we're a few minutes early, of course. It's down to Chrissy if I'm, I'm good to go a few minutes early or not. <clears throat> By the way, yesterday I was I was having a little bit of I noticed my my voice was not much higher than the game audio, so hopefully it's a bit better today. I tweaked it a bit for today. So uh let's see if that's better today. But yeah, um This this will be the start of Rayman, hundred percent then. So Chrissy, on the ready. Five, four, three Two, one, go. Okay. So, my mission is to rescue all the Electunes and defeat Mr. Dark. <clears throat> um, he is the, the the main bad guy of this game. Um, but yeah, you won't be seeing him for a long time. <laughs> this is a pretty straightforward devil. I can't even do anything until the, the third screen, by the way, because I don't even have any power-ups until until then, so... Uh, these first screens is just... Jump. <laughs> just jump. <laughs> there is... Five power-ups in this game? Yes. And uh, the one doesn't truly start until we get one. <laughs> That's what we say as a joke, anyway. One is the final ability you get. <laughs> and uh, here we are. We're on our first power-up screen. Even though I have hands, apparently I'm not, I wasn't able to punch things. Now, now I can punch things, so... Now I can actually rescue Electunes. Which is why this level will be a, a revisit later in the... Later in the one. <clears throat> And uh, now we're going to do some plum strats, which we can hopefully get. I'm not the best at them, but I do I do know them. Mm, this might be able to get. Nah, I punched it a little bit too early. You can ride of the plum in the air if you uh, time it right. And it's, it makes you faster. But I'm going to try and get the other two plum strats as well. See if we can get those. <laughs> Nice, I got that one. That was, that was good. Can I get this one too? And I got that one semi as well. So I, I got two out of three little plum boosts. <clears throat> and that was Pink Plant Woods. Very straightforward <laughs> level. <clears throat> Apparently that was a gold. <laughs> nice. Good start, I guess. So this is Angerus. On this level, we'll have our first mini boss of the one called Buzit. He's basically the the mini boss version of Mosquito, who is later found two levels later into the one. And again, this is also a revisit level because I cannot get every cage that with the abilities I have. So you'll be seeing a lot of backtracks in the forest later. <coughs> Now, as for magicians, we've already passed two magicians, actually, but it's actually faster to get those two magicians later, when I have the one in twos. Nice, I got the damage abuse strat. That saves only a second, but it's, it's still a second. How many WRs? Quite a number in the, um, in the MISC categories. For the category extensions, I've had quite a number. That's only because... I've actually been bothered to run a lot of them, so... 
I, I have it from Mr. Sax in... Beat Mr. Sax in any... Uh, in a... Uh, what am I trying to say? I have it for Beat Mr. Sax in PS1 version. Sorry. Which I'm the only one on the PS1 to have a 16 minute one at the moment. I hope that changes one day and I'm not the only one. It's a very hard time to get there. So I'm going to do a little strat here where I am pulled back by the screen a little bit. And what it does is basically, because I'm now further to the left, the speed up part of the screen will actually come a little bit earlier now. So, basically, this is why I'm going left and right in a lot of uh, spots because there is camera speed up and slow down at specific points of the screen. So, I'm utilizing when the speed up and the slow down happens as best as I can, anyway. <coughs> and, uh, yeah, I would say we did that pretty well overall. So far, so good, but I don't expect a lot to go wrong at this stage of the game. <clears throat> if you've played the game casually before, you'll notice that there's a mega difficulty spike as soon as you get out of the forest and go into the second zone, which is Band Band. By the way, I now have the hang power up, so now I can hang on edges. <clears throat> so now, Band Band is coming a little bit later in the one. And, uh... I got it again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. That's a good start to the one, actually. <laughs> We're two seconds ahead at the moment already. So, this is a pretty boring screen. So, all I'm doing is I'm planting flowers down to allow me to, to climb up the screen. But... As you may have noticed, this game is quite auto scroller heavy, so we're going to see quite a number of these auto scrollers. Now, this is the only forest level that you do not have to revisit, so we will be doing our first petition this time. They're pretty cool, but I will say that this magician is probably one of the hardest ones in the world as well. <laughs> it's very easy to mess this, this magician up. If you if you done tried the magician before, you'll you'll know what I'm talking about when you see it. It's basically the one with all of these all of these strings here. It's just strings all the way to the top. <clears throat> cool. Okay, and now this is actually the first more challenging screen of the of the one. Just because of the strats that we can do here. This is pretty much a culprit for potential deaths already. But so far so good. We, we got that strat. So it's best to go under here because that's where this, the cage's spawn is. <clears throat> we'll wait a bit. Nah, it's pretty good. I got most things. There, there's one harder strat that I'm not quite capable of doing which is catching the cycle of the string that just went. But I got the second best, so that was nice. And now, for this screen, we got to go all the way up to the top, just to spawn in a cage. <laughs> There's a lot of hidden spawn points in this game, and it takes a lot of learning. Oh. I don't know why that happens, but sometimes when you punch the palm, even from the left side, it actually slows it down. I don't know why it does that. It should speed it up. Okay, first magician. <clears throat> this one's pretty challenging as well. I'm gonna try and do it as best as I can. Don't need to punch that one. That was good. That was a good magician. Very nice. There's quite a few you don't have to, to punch. And there's one more cage here. We're actually going to get it from under... We're going to go underneath here because it's actually faster. 
than to go on the top route because you would fall down on top of the enzyme. So this is the faster way for sure. <clears throat> and that's the swamp's done. And it's another gold. <laughs> wow, this one's going good so far. I'm now five seconds ahead. Um, yeah, so now, Mosquito's Nest. This is a pretty hard level compared to the others in the forest. Definitely where I could have my first death. Oh, and you see that magician you just show up the top there? I'm not going for him now, I'm going for him on the revisit when I have all the extra abilities. So he, um, he is just going to have to wait a while for me. Why, why would I go all the way to him now when I can't, can't even run? That's just wrong. Another plum strat here that we can hopefully get. And we got it. Nice. <coughs> That's a pretty scary jump if you don't know what you're doing as well. That will kill you if you get that one. <coughs> Oops. <laughs> That's not a mistake I normally make. <laughs> yeah! Cool. Well, that's still a pretty good screen though. Now this one, this is the, definitely the first screen you can die to. Because uh, I'm going to try and do a thing called one cycle where I catch the first cycle of every flower. And it looks like I might be able to get it. And I did get it. Very nice. If you don't jump in the right place, you actually can't set that up right. I got the one side there. Very nice. <clears throat> and now we just have to jump over Mots. Mots. Anti-tunes, which are the little black edit tunes. And, um, the other scenery. Honestly, at this part of the game, there's not a lot of text to explain. I don't really get that until later. This is the this is the chill part of the one. <laughs> There's a pretty hard strat coming up here, which I can try and get with a plum, where you can jump back onto this top section with with the cage being hit. It's not one of my good strats though. No, I didn't I didn't quite get the distance, but it wasn't too bad. I I still got the plum down there fast enough. So you can punch the plum back and send it towards a cage and then jump up to the top floor. It's quite a nice time save. But it's not one that I often get. So I, I consider that to be a bonus strat for me personally. Rayman's a hard game so strats are not so easy to get. <laughs> I mean, most PS1 games are hard, right? We can all agree to that. <clears throat> there are still obviously some that aren't, but there are definitely hard ones like this out there. Oh, okay. <laughs> I missed Danny <that>, Tune. <laughs> Panic averted. Panic averted. I didn't land on the anti tune, I didn't die, so it's all good. <laughs> right. This is a very small screen. And as long as I don't get hit by the piranhas, I'm fine. Okay, I, I hit them all. That's good. That's very good. Honestly, this is a great start for a marathon. I haven't had anything go wrong with the forest yet. Anything really bad happen, I mean. Nice. You can do two of the, the strat which one we do earlier on this boss fight. He has a lot more health. And it's also one of my favourite soundtracks in the game. Thank you, Chambers. Thank you for the good luck. So there, yeah, for, for this boss fight I will be um going left and right a lot in pl the places that is necessary. Because uh Yeah, the just the pattern of this boss is a lot of left and right. Next is going to be a, a big spike, which you can duck under. And then you punch him. There was one, one 
damage I will ignore because it sets up a better double hit later, which is this one. Can I get this? Let's see. Nice, I got the double damage strat. I haven't failed all three of them. So if you fail that strat, it's 8 seconds loss because you use a whole cycle. But yeah, this boss fight's going good so far. <clears throat> so there, how was my voice comparing to the game audio? Because yesterday it was, for some reason, a little bit quieter. But I've, I've noticed today that it seems to be back to normal. I think it's good today. Awesome. I don't know why, but sometimes I, I start a stream and my, my, my mic is lower without me changing anything. And I definitely noticed it in the pandemonium yesterday. But I'm, I'm clearly seeing today that my mic is pumping out better volume than my desktop audio. So now, now we are having our ring power up and this is where some cool strats come in. So what I'm going to do here is instead of holding left or right off of the ring, I'm going to hold up. What that does is it basically carries the speed. It keeps the speed I came off of the ring at. And we call that speed docking. <clears throat> it allows us to carry the speed we, we came off of the ring. And it's very good. Uh, speed tech. Can I get this first try? Nice, I can. That's not an easy one to do. So normally, or casually should I say, you'd be made to go around the wrong way just to do this. But we don't do that, we just we skip straight up to the cage. And can I get this strat as well? Nice, I got the... I didn't get hit by the drumsticks, so I kept my speed. So this is the next level that we'll have a magician on too. Part of the 100%. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, this level on the speed run saves like so much time over the casual route because normally you would be made to revisit the level casually on the fourth screen, but we have a way to avoid having to do that. So, and we're going to do a pretty cool strat here. It skips going the wrong way round too. Hopefully, I don't get it wrong, and I didn't. So you take a damage off the spike and you jump through the blue spikes straight up to this cage, rather than spawn in the cloud on the far left side of the screen, going back on the cell. Yeah! Oh yes, <laughs> obviously you're seeing it done in a, in, in a different way than, than Kazuri of course. I'm gonna try and get another strat here, which might go wrong. Okay, this looks like a good setup for, to allow me to zip through the wall. Nice! I got the wall zip. And can I get Taz balls? And I can get Taz balls! Nice! That, that's, that's perfect. I got both the strats. We call it Taz balls because you can skip right through the middle of the chocolate balls if you do do it right. And now we have another strat coming up. Another zip through the wall, and this is a really cool one, by the way. Just have to focus on the positioning here. Hopefully, I don't mess it up. Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> and that's the zip. You go all the way to the top very quickly. <laughs> it saves 12 seconds, that, by the way. Then going on the, the rocket. Okay, we have our next magician coming up, and I will be getting as many kings as I can because the death abuse cost me all my kings. Okay, and here's the the ring I was the cage I was talking about. By doing the speed dock strat, you can just get straight to the cage. And now we have to go to the magician. That's why I went that way first. <clears throat> nice. This is a pretty tricky magician too. 
This one is the slippery platform. So the strat here is to try and hang hang as best as you can. Okay, you can't hang on that one. <laughs> Just trying to remember. By hanging, you don't risk falling off as, as much. Uh oh. <laughs> it's fine, we have time. There we go. We had plenty of time there. That that was not too bad at all. <laughs> okay, that's the next magician done. Damage abuse. We don't wait on no hunters. And that's a... Uh, that's a magician of this level done. We have now done... Two magicians out of eleven. Yo, season. Thank you for the good luck. I appreciate it. Don't ever do those jumps I just did if you're only starting out. If you if you time it slightly early, he's gonna knock you back and probably kill you. <laughs> do not try those jumps <laughs> without experience. And here's another awesome strat. Now, now normally on this screen, you'll be made to go all the way around and become small Rayman to get this cage, right? We're not doing that. We're damage abusing through. And then we're death abusing because you, you have to die to get back. And that's the fast way to get the cage on this screen. <clears throat> And now, we have to wait, because <laughs> we're on Choco Balls. <laughs> and I'm going to try and get the Shrag backwards punch kill. Hell yes, we did. <laughs> we got the Shrag. It doesn't even do anything, but it looks cool. What's an anti-tune fly pass do? <laughs> you can do that with the correct setup of the... Uh, Anti-tune skip strat, which is jumping on the and stay staying on the sip choco ball. <clears throat> so yeah, that that's pretty consistent to be able to uh, get that backwards puns, and it's really it's really cool. <laughs> it's really funny. Yeah, it's nice, right? It looks funny just to watch him fly past you. <clears throat> So, by punching this cage from far away, we also avoid spawning in a hunter, which is a very annoying enemy to be stopped by. So if you punch it from far away, you will not have the hunter get in the way. <clears throat> nice. Okay. Bongo Hills is nearly done. We're going to do a strat here too, where we take a hit, and we can run straight through the red giant. <clears throat> Very nice. Rather than go around the long way, which is a very annoying way to go, he can definitely hold you back rather nastily. This one is kind of a meme, you just duck and under him and wait. <laughs> muffin clip. I do not know what you mean by muffin clip, but... <laughs> There's a Legro clip coming up, which is a, a 20 second time save strat to get. <clears throat> well, this one's going very good so far, I have to say. Okay, can we get the Legro clip? We got it! We got the Legro clip of the one! I'm so happy. We got the 20 second time save. That is a really hard strat to get, by the way. Oh my god, I'm I'm proud to do that in a marathon. Let's go. <laughs> Did you even see that season? You should be proud. <laughs> I got a Necro clip. Let's go. <laughs> in a marathon. <laughs> okay, we're on a trumpet screen now. Do, 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 do. 
just want to focus here because this is a pretty tricky screen. So. Oh, this part of the screen is tricky. I did not get the god clip. If you spam there, you have a chance to pass through the ground as well. Okay, well, I didn't get the fast strat right there, but that's really hard to get, so... It doesn't even matter. I got a dead go clip. I'm a bit laughing right now. Next screen has a magician, by the way. Next screen has a magician. <clears throat> so, uh, prepare for that. Nice, I got this, this strat as well. That's, uh, precise. You have to, to punch at the exact specific time to get that. Okay, I have a lot of things here. I hope this isn't going to be a problem for the Magician. Because I need to pay 10 things to enter a Magician. This could be a problem if this, uh, if this happens. Hopefully it doesn't. I think it's gonna happen. Oh dear. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to come up with some other backup then. Oh, damn. We did not want that refill. I need to get enough things now. Damn. Now I don't have enough things. Okay, I have enough things now. That's one of the downsides, that. Oh, <laughs> that was a mistake. <laughs> the magician's up here. Okay, that wasn't too bad a detour I had to make just to get enough things. It's a shame, though, because we had a leg clip, and that kind of kills that, that lead a bit. Things are exactly, and if you don't have 10 to pay the magician, then um, you can't uh, yeah! enter. So I had to get some more things just because of that. And that's a magician. That that one is just choco balls. Gonna do a little skip here where we actually jump to the left to spawn the, the end sign rather than um jumping on that cloud to spawn it. Can we get this strat? Nope. <laughs> that one's a, a, a hard clip to get to. That one saves like five seconds if you get that that one. But that one feels very dark based as well. <clears throat> This is a fun screen if you know what we're doing. Nice. And I'll be seeing you later, Mr. Sax. You are not being skipped because this is not any percent. I will be fighting you. <laughs> this is uh, the helicopter power up now. So, um,. Now we can... Helicopter! <laughs> yeah! We have one more ability left to get in this one. And that's a Negro done. Even with that detour, because of a Negro clip, even with that Ting detour, I still golded. Okay, um, Twilight Gold, we will not be getting no cages there, because, um, we are going to get them all when we have the running ability later. For now, we just go fast. We try to go fast, anyway. There is a skip on this screen that I have enough health for as well. If I had one health, I would potentially lose four seconds. So. I do have the health, though. <clears throat> and we are going to be chased by the boss of this zone any second now. He is the angry Mr. Stone. Look at that man's face. He's pissed. <laughs> he is mad. He's furious that I'm here. 
<laughs> well, too bad for you, Mr. Stone. I'm gonna I'm gonna destroy you later. <laughs> and then we will damage abuse off of Mr. Stone to get this skip. <clears throat> Now we have a health refill, we will do two deliberate damages here, and then we will do one more here. Ring strats. <laughs> Very cool, by the way. Nice. Good good try, Light Gold. So the reason why I got myself down to two health, there's a death abuse on the next screen. As soon as I get a Kate. <clears throat> um, so, uh, yeah, I will be do taking one hit from this blue spike here, get in the cage, then ducking under Hunter to, to death animation skip. Very nice. And we are back on track to carry on the screen. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm definitely digging this one at the moment. I'm not going to say it's going to stay good, but I, I don't want to jinx it because it is going very well right now. And I'm enjoying commentating at the same time as well. Nice. That was, uh, that was a key example of what speed docks look like, by the way. You can do things like that. <clears throat> okay. For this screen, you have to be as fast as you, you, you can, just so you can uh, beat the spike cycles without them becoming a nuisance. Now that was a spike damage abuse there. I can only do two of those at the moment. Oh, I didn't get that one. I didn't turn in time. And we have our next magician coming up on the right here. Cool. And then there's a cage at the top of the screen as well. Oh, there. Th this game has like... I can't remember, but I think it has like 60,000 colors, this game. If anyone's wondering. I think it's around 60,000 or so. The devs were really passionate about the look of this game. And it definitely holds up as a good looking game, even to today's standards, I would say. I don't think this game could ever look old. <laughs> and it's a great game to pick up too, it's a fun game to learn. Ah, oh, unlucky, I didn't get that skip, but I nearly did. <clears throat> Be careful here because I only have the one health. Nice. So that was the magician and the cages of this screen done. We're gonna head here so we can catch that that mid cycle without waiting for it to go back right. <clears throat> can we get this skip? Nice. We we did avoid the spike. You have to be very quick there to do that. Damage abuses. So we don't crawl the entire way through the spikes. <clears throat> because that's very slow. <laughs> you definitely don't want to do that in a speed run scenario. Damage abuse here so we don't wait on the blue spike. I'm trying to say everything I can say whilst running, and it's it's not the easiest thing to do, but this game is quite a bit slower paced than Pandemonium, so I can definitely say a, quite a bit more about this game as I move than I, I did with Pandemonium. <clears throat> okay, and now we're going to go down for the cage that we just spawned in. And we're going to be death abusing with this uh, 
uh, one health. And maybe I can get the animation skip? I did! Nice! <laughs> I, I didn't expect to get that because I didn't actually land on the ground and fully duck. But I got animation skip there as well. <clears throat> now to get this cage. This is a scary one because I have to dodge the golem with one health. And I did. Nice. And we dodged him too. Cage here. But instead of going back up for the cage, we punch it on the way down because luckily they put a spawn trigger right where the fall in. So you can punch it on the way down. <laughs> Okay, now this one is ridiculously good right now. I, I can't believe how this is going in a mouthful. I should try not to focus on my splits too much though. That's a bad idea. Okay, and, and this is a, a screen where you will be seeing me speed docking like, all the way through. I'm just going to hold up as a helicopter and I will keep this extra speed. <clears throat> Um, this is a very scary screen, if you've ever played this casually. Th this screen is just a nightmare for the first time ever. Nice. Oh, I don't know why I took an extra hit there. Because I definitely did the strat right. But it's fine. We have health. We don't need to worry about the uh, checkpoint with this much health. Oh, <laughs> unlucky. I should still be able to catch the side corner. I did, nice. Nice. I would say that was pretty good. I caught the good cycles there. <laughs> That's an interesting community challenge that Chrissy has. Well. <laughs> Okay, and this screen is called Cutting Ropes. If you ever played this screen for the first time, you're probably wondering, how do I do this screen? How do I not die to this screen? Well, the simple answer is, you use your hair to cut the, the ropes. And and cut cut the boulders away. But I, do, I must say, when I first ever did this, as a kid, I, I came over on this screen because I didn't know what to do. Constantly. And yes, I, I can admit to throwing controllers down in tempo at this game as a kid. <laughs> and if anyone has, has played this game, Cassidy, you, you've probably done the same thing anyway. So <laughs> this is a a, a rage-inducing game. <laughs> Okay, we're going to do a little strat here. Damage abuse straight through to the uh, straight through the spike, so we can just get going as soon as. By the way, there's another magician coming up on the next screen. In the snowy screen. <coughs> there's a scary strat at the top of this screen as well. If I don't get it, I will use like a minute, so I hope I get it. <laughs> I'm confident I'll get it then. Oh, the anti tune gets to live. <laughs> ah. Oh, there, yeah, we're always finding new stuff. There we go. Okay, I, I didn't lose a minute. I got the, the cloud skip. Good. That's when you can lose a minute if you get that one. It's a scary strat, definitely. It's not one I particularly enjoy going for, but I know I can do it. Okay, next magician, and we have fine on the tin count, so that's all good. And he is hidden right here. And he's even waiting to take my money. Take my money. 
<laughs> oh. Yeah! One, one missed jump, but <laughs> we got it. He is indeed the money bags of this game. He requires your things, not your gems. Oh, only money bags is definitely greedier. <laughs> <laughs> On the PC version, the magician has a voice and he says, Ten kings, please. <laughs> it's quite funny. <laughs> the voice is pretty funny. <laughs> <coughs> Oh, we failed this. That's unfortunate. That's a fair few seconds lost. I didn't jump high enough. I know why I didn't get that. But we didn't die, so... That's that's the, the main thing, right? If we fail a strat and we don't die, we're still laughing, right? Okay, and we're coming up to the Mr. Stone boss fight. This is a very awesome fight, by the way. I hope to get the full strat down. I really do, because it's very, very good and very cool to watch. Oh. So I will be fully focusing on this fight. Okay, so far so good for the, the strats. Nice. This is a hard boss fight, Kazali, as well. Most bosses in this game are brutally, brutally hard, though. And that difficulty only spikes more if you are going for strats like this. And hopefully we can get the really cool one now. Nice, there we go. That that's what's cool about this strat. He punts him through the ground and he's just gone. <laughs> he just punts him through the ground. Yep, Mr. Stone's gone. He's not even on the ground. He's just he's just gone, guys. See ya. <laughs> and now the run begins. Because we can run now. That's the meme. The one begins when you can run. <laughs> nice. Now we are starting our backtracks, guys. <clears throat> so this is where we'll get all the cages here now. <laughs> Fell that. Sometimes you can get bad height and you just don't make it over his head. Come on, get this. Ah, oh, we fouled. That's a that's the same. Second try. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, well not the best gold, but considering how good the one's gone, it's pretty minor. And that's Gulch. We death abuse and we go to the back side. <clears throat> Still sub 43 on the entry to Gong Heights. Okay, this is a hard level. This is a hard level. This is so easy to die. To. Very terrifying level. So we'll try not to die, of course. <laughs> <coughs> I 
Lots of cages scattered here. All I can say is watch where I'm going to note, note them down myself. Nice. Okay, we got the cycle skip. Each one of those who catches like three seconds, by the way. So good. Good, good yes. gong height screen one. I definitely dig that. <laughs> no, no mistake on that screen. <clears throat> Two cages on this screen. Another boring auto scroll. Whatever, we just can't run through. We just have to, to to chill with the screen. Yep, fun. Auto scroll is really fun. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Don't meditate on that. <laughs> I hope you all enjoying this one so far, though. With its uh, relatively small differences to any percent, but seeing all the magicians is also cool, right? Because you don't ever see them played in any percent ones, it was left alone. That's why I call it 100, call this 100 percent, because you're doing ev every screen. Cool. And that's Gong Heights. <clears throat> and now for Sax. Can we get distracted at the start? Nope. We try again? Ah, oh, we, we back signed. <laughs> Oops. Okay, second try. We take that. Second try. Nice. get a jump. <laughs> so there's going to be a lot of clipping going on here too. Nope. 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 Ah, this is unlucky. Fifth try. Honestly, the biggest time loss you'll get in this level is just not getting those clips. Oh, wow. That, that sent me down the opposite direction. <laughs> Interesting. So, uh, yeah, this, this, this level, all the cages are on one screen. And I will be utilizing the clips as I just so do. Nice, that was good. Uh-oh. No, I still managed to set it up with, with a little backup one, so we're fine. That's what you do to get the uh, green moth to go down. Nice. And now I'm going to try and keep a thing called speed storage. A bit awkward to explain, but if I have it on mosquitoes' nest, you'll see what it what it does. Okay, Mr. Sat's boss fight. Gotta focus on the strats here. Very nice, we got all eight damage, so we got the full strat. We will not lose any time to that strat. So each failed extra hit of a note is 10 seconds lost. However, the second health is another 20 seconds. It's a really long phase. So. Okay, just do not touch any walls, Jamie, and you will keep your speed storage. It's a very technical thing to explain. <laughs> but the gist is, when you are running and jumping off of a slippery surface and you land that way, you keep your forward momentum when running off of an event, which is a moving platform, um, and um, 
Yeah. As long as you don't touch a wall, you get to keep that speed. So I'm hoping I haven't touched a wall. Otherwise, I'm losing like 40 seconds to Mosquito's Nest. And that was a Mr. Sack's boss fight because of the strats I did on the first screen. <laughs> Not the best, Mr. Sax, but this is a hard devil to not use time too much time to. Okay, do I have the speed storage? Please say I do. I don't recall hitting any walls or doing anything I shouldn't do. I have the speed storage, let's go. There we go, that's the speed storage right there. Okay. Nice. And now we go to the ma magician. So the reason I got that hunter to shoot to the left is because his hammers get in the way of, of those rings if you make him shoot to the right. Now this magician's great to do with the power-ups. You just don't have to write any strings at all. <laughs> nice, good magician. And now we death abuse, because we got the cage and we got the magician. There's arcades up here, I forget. That was a gold mosquito's nest, nice. At least I'm getting all the strats today. Nice, I got this too! <laughs> nice. The over the hunter's head strat is not easy. You can either hit the hunter or hit the, the cage, and I hit the cage, which is the, the, the outcome you want. It's absolutely the outcome you want. And because of that, I golded again. <laughs> what a one this is so far. What an absolute one. <clears throat> Okay. Ah, there. So there's two uh, magicians on this screen. We are literally catching up on our magicians now that we didn't do before. Ah, I didn't get that. That's weird. Usually you get a land on that. Thanks for the good dark climbing. I appreciate that. Ow. <laughs> oh, we didn't get we didn't get the hunter backwards booster, unfortunately. That would have saved a, a few a second maybe. And there's one more magician coming up on the final screen and he's a bit finicky to get too fast. I did see he got the Hundo WR. Congrats to, to Groovy for, for that Marvel of an achievement. <clears throat> Maybe we will see the return of Super Boom Fan. <laughs> Okay, hopefully I can get this strat. Nice, there we go, that's what I was talking about. That's the one that you can die to. It saves you cat riding the pram to get that. Get to him, you can just fly straight down to him. Yeah. 
Nice. Honestly, a good pink plant would this. Until I <laughs> missed the problem. <laughs> Yeah, good. I lost 14 to to this in, in PB, so this will save time for sure. So that track is all done. Clean up is done. There's two there's two magicians left in the run as well. Oh yeah, wrong way. <laughs> Nearly went the wrong way. Nearly brain farted that. So yeah, I meant to death abuse here, but that's not going the best. <laughs> I I I messed up the setup there, no, that was my fault. So if you're wondering why am I using the back sign for this? So if you die and you do some speed fists, if you re-enter the level, all of that returns to you as it was. See I have my golden fist again now. Okay, this is a really hard screen, so I need like to really focus here. Because this one can use so much time to fade him. It's nicknamed as Eraser Pains, so... <laughs> okay. This screen always scares me. <laughs> I'm gonna wait, fuck it. I can still catch the cycle. I missed this cycle, but it's fine. I just want to get through this cleanly. Nice, okay, that, that's... I'm happy with that. In a marathon, you never want to die there. You never want to be at the start of the screen. It's just so long. Mini Rayman? Poggers. <laughs> so how are you enjoying the Rayman one so far? I'm enjoying it. It's actually going a lot better than I expected. I need to be careful with my things here. This is not a good uh, situation to be in with things. Oh no. I may not be able to pay the magician. This is, uh, again, a problem. I think I might just die after I get the cage. Very unlucky. Very unlucky. This is unbelievable, bad duck. You are joking me. Eight times? That's very unlucky. Yeah, I'm not gonna risk getting to the end of the screen with not enough things, so I'm just gonna death abuse it. Nice uh, timing. And I'm on a PB pace for this category right now too. Okay, there we have 14 things. See, I don't think I would have had enough things if I carried on and grabbed them. And that would have been way worse than choosing to go for the death abuse. Sometimes, you're just in the unfortunate scenario of just not having enough things to pay the magician.
So I could have done a damage abuse there, but turning around this mini Rain Man doesn't always work out. Sometimes it just knocks you the wrong way. I don't like going for that. Magician time! <laughs> Through all the din yans in my way. I love the Magician soundtrack, it's so criminally unused because of this category does not really being popular. Any percent doesn't need you guys. So. Yeah, it's nice to see him added to the one, right? Oops. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I will probably not save time because I was in a, a, the unfortunate situation of not a good tin count again, so I did like the, the best thing I could do to not lose too much time though. You don't want to get to a medicine and not be able to pay him, that's just the worst. Then you have to do the whole screen again. Dying at the start is absolutely the best thing you can do if the tin count is not ideal. So there's some strats on this boss fight that I'll, I'll do. I can only do two now, which is honestly not a problem because the third one is too risky anyway. The third one can soft drop the game if done wrong. I can't even go for it now because I don't have enough health. So I can go for the two safe ones. And you're about to see them. So I'm going to jump into space Viking Mama and punch as soon as I... I'm out of my uh, damage animation and I can punch her in the air. And again. There's one more, like I say, which would need yet to health. But the final one, if timed wrong, can soft block the game. So there wasn't one I was going for anyway, so it's not a it's not a big deal. <clears throat> Yeah, see, I expected this. <clears throat> but I knew it was coming because I had to fix my things. And also, I, I got so unlucky with the 50-50 cage. You know that when I was f constantly throwing fists at? That's dark based and I, I got bad duck eight times in a row. So, not my fault at all. And now we death abuse here. <laughs> and hopefully we can get this strat. Nice, I got it first try as well. That I don't get in it, I got it first try. Saves you going the long way around. Another strat coming up, right? Just helicopter straight to the platform. Nice. That was good. So there's no more magicians now until uh Space Man was quite and then there's one more in Crystal Palace after that. Then the rest of the one is pretty much back to any percent style. Nice. That was a, a, a nice early ring grab as well. Welcome Neon. Childhood Vengeance indeed. I mean aren't most PS1 games childhood vengeance? Like do you want to do you want to just break something kind of mentality games? <laughs> oh, I didn't get the the clip through the pencils. 
that's not easy to get there. Nice. Nice. You do that damage to set this up really good. Nice. Very good. I've got most of the strats I want so far. This is a very scary screen, by the way, as you probably realise with these pins being so close to the head. Very easy to mess them up. <clears throat> um, I have, but th this is the only one of them all I like, like, a lot. The others are so much, like, different that I just don't like them as much. I like the style of this one the best. Nah. We didn't get the strat. How did that fail? Well, well, that's the same. Ah. It's the same. I, I'm very surprised that strat failed. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, well this is the first choke of the run, I would say. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I'm surprised I failed. I'm, I don't know why that even bounced me. So that strat just basically stops you bouncing on any of them and I messed it up slightly. I probably lost about 15 or 20 to that. I'm gonna estimate. And uh, yeah, so so for this uh, this section here, you do not ever want to do a one. You just want to, you just want to, to to move it on normally with a normal walk, because if you run, the pencils will always hit you back. You just want to go at normal speed off the slippery, and they won't hit you. Okay, well, tin count's looking promising for the, the next screen. We've had an unfortunate pit to city so far. We, we've lost a lot to PB, but we did get unlucky on the Razor Plains, to be honest. It wasn't even my fault that I just had that bad duck with that 50 50 cage. This one is still very good for marathon standards. I'm like really happy with how this one has gone. Now, I think it's still deathless, you know. I haven't had any deaths that are unintentional so far. Nice! First try in the, the hard cage. That's so hard to do that. One of my least favourite cages to first try in the game. Very solid, Chrissy. Like, the things that lost me time are not my fault. I just didn't have the right things or or I got unlucky with a, a strat that's RNG. <laughs> okay. Ah, that's not good though. Shit. <laughs> For some reason I didn't get much speed there. As long as we don't die though, it's fine. That's more like it. Sometimes speed docking can be finicky like that. No! Oh my god, I'm fu fucking up now. <laughs> Damn. 
Ah, oh, I didn't make it across. Okay, there we go. It's not an easy section now. Okay, well, we didn't die at least, so we don't have to go the wrong way. But that was pretty unfortunate. With the, uh, falling down there. That's a hard part of the, the level there, the first part. I, I argue that it's the hardest part of the level. Okay, one more magician left. Next devil. And now we death abuse. <laughs> so we can get back up here quickly. It's a funny death abuse that one. Nice. That was good. Oh, we got the din landscape. Nice. That's not easy to get. If, if you don't get enough height, you just don't get over those, and you get knocked back. Cool. Can I get the strat here? I can, nice. You can skip to the lower cloud if you time that right. Yeah! <laughs> nice. First try of that hang as well. This is a bit more focus intensive, this part, so I didn't have much to say. There is some really cool uh, faster strats on this screen that I just don't really know how to do them. They're, they're really like really top level strats that I just don't enjoy going for. So, yeah. There are definitely ones out there that can show you off more of the late game strats that I just don't do. Like, this is another one. There's a damage abuse here. It's a very scary one though, because if you fail, you just die. But I, I'm showing off everything I can show off, and so far most of them have worked out. Very few things haven't worked out this one. <clears throat> and now we are on the longest boss fight in the game. <laughs> There are some strats here I'll be trying to get. Hopefully she gets knocked back once. Okay, she got knocked back once, so I'm safe from taking her damage. Now, if you've played this game up to this point... Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? I just lost the health. I'm stupid. <laughs> I thought that was the last one. Um, as I was saying... If you played up to this point of the game, this boss probably gave you a hard time. Oh my god, what am I doing? I just lost damage abuse. Okay, I'll try again. Later. I'll still be able to go for some. Yeah. I lost a health because I missed one earlier. It's like eight seconds or something.
this is a very long boss fight, as you can see. You have to just dodge a lot of things. It's pretty scary for them for this fight. This is a strat I was meant to do earlier. Hopefully, I can get it. There we go. That's a double hit. You have to get her to turn her head around, otherwise her iframes run out. You can't do that strat. So you have to, you have to run through her with iframes. I still got some damage abuses there still. Not the most time loss considering that screen 2 went pretty diabolical. Okay, final level for Magician. This guys, final level. And this is a really hard level. <laughs> this is literally one of the bane of most speedrunners. One. The game ones is this level. Nice. Very nice. I don't often get that in a one. <laughs> I'd usually fail that. <laughs> that was some fast ring movements there. Nice! Uh, I'm gonna do a death abuse on the beginning of the next screen because I'm not gonna have enough things to play the Magician otherwise. So I'm just gonna die at the start of the screen. Actually no, I'm fine now. I can get enough things. I got the refill on the last screen. That's fine. Nice. I got that strat. That's three seconds, by the way. Can we get this strat here? Uh oh. We can still get it, partially. That's fine. We didn't fall all the way off. Whew. Nice. Honestly, this Crystal Palace has gone pretty good so far. That, that screen one was nice. That screen one was really nice for my standards. Getting some strats I don't normally get in a one. That cloud is just a troll. Ignore what happened there. It just doesn't let me come off of it straight away. Some sometimes. It that does look funny though. Final Magician, guys. Final Magician. <clears throat> and this one's a pain to get wrong. So I hope I don't. I think I'll play this safe just to get there. Thing that I didn't get? No, I'm gonna fail this now, aren't I? That's so annoying, I didn't get the ting.
I'm gonna fail. I don't believe it. No, I'm gonna fail the magician. That was my all my time save. No. Ah, I lost it all. I had time save here and I lost it all. Because I didn't get height for that one thing. Damn. Okay, well, now, now this one can't really PB anymore. It could have if I didn't fail that. That's a little bit upsetting. It didn't give me the height for the, the one thing I needed. Maybe it can still PB, but I lost a lot to having to re-enter that magician. <laughs> it's still a solid one for the marathon. I mean, what can you do if you just don't get the height you need for a thing? You're just in trouble. I'm still half a minute ahead, though. Okay, there's no more magicians now, it's just any percent the, the whole way through. I never planned on getting a 132 anyway. 132 would have been hard to get. <laughs> Given the circumstances of what can go wrong in a one. Yeah, it's good. It's good other than a fail, a fail like that. I'm not blaming myself on that one. That height was so unfairly though. So that's why I don't like that magician. It's a brutal one to fail. A thing on. You just can't come back from that. Yeah. <laughs> I jumped over the end sign. That's new. <laughs> Didn't even know you could go there. <laughs> Seems to be just a curse. When I'm on a good one, I always fail that position. Nice. Yep, that's true. Can't raise and there. That's only for one swing. That's not a fun screen for speedrunners, so we don't like auto scrollers. Nice, that was some good ring climb there. Climb in there. <clears throat> nice. Tricky section, by the way, to, to do fast. Now can I get this strat? Oh, I didn't get it. It's, it's hard, like, you have to punch the cage right as you're about to... Punch towards the cage as you're about to land, and then get enough left to spawn it as well. It's, it's not one of my good strats, so... So this screen, it's a funny one actually, because this screen you have to go all the way around just to spawn an end sign that spawns at the spawn point of the screen. It's quite funny actually. You're made to go in a circle just to get a spawn point for an end sign. <laughs> And now the end sign is at the spawn point. <laughs> you can do laps of this for memes if you want. <laughs> so we could go around that way, but there's no need. You can just go there.
just don't land on the spikes because those are insta kill spikes and you just die. So yeah. Ensign. Ensign trilogy. <laughs> yes, you guys will be seeing me playing that. Not next week, but the week after. Uh, weekend after. Sorry. I should say. I think it, yeah, it's a weekend after, not the week after. The weekend after. Against Spike Harios, who's gonna be giving me a hard, oh, a hard time on that category, but I'll try my best to give you guys a race, you know? Yeah, next weekend, not this one. You're having a little break in between, which yeah. you deserve, by the way. <clears throat> so we are now on Joe's screen. <laughs> yeah. This this can be a, a bit of a troll sometimes if you don't get the speed dock you desire. On the final section. And that's a backward punch to a cage that spawns. It's a pretty cool and consistent strat, that one. Okay, I, I nearly didn't get enough distance there, but we're fine. Okay, we do actually have a good chance to PB still. Yeah, that's too much, Chrissy. Yeah, I don't put that on there. That's a gold. That's a gold. Oh, that was that was lucky. I, I actually didn't have um, much speed there for that. Missed the spawn point. <laughs> oh god, am I gonna make this? Okay, I did. I didn't have much height, but I still, I still made it. That's a scary strat too. This is another screen where all cages are on one screen. Okay, I didn't quite get the height, but I got landed on the red crystal, so we're good. We're good. That was still a good screen. And now we fight the second to final boss of this game. Mr. Scops is his name. And he's actually a very simple boss fight compared to the rest. This is a more technical screen now to do it. This is a strat. Rather than hanging, you can just jump out and punch him as he comes towards you. Yeah, he just roll friendly with a face like that. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I was I was the arsehole that woke him up from his sleep this time. I would say this is the one boss who's defending himself from me, rather than attacking me first. <laughs> Five hours seems pretty long, man, but there, maybe there, there'll be something worth doing for that then. That's down to Chrissy, of course. That's far too long a, a category for either one on one again. But you're built on long runs, power. So here's a strat here. If you wind your fist in the corner, as he releases his attack, you just you punch and you duck and it goes back towards him. Basically the, the blue ball that comes from his towel follows your fist. So there, uh, as long as you position yourself in this corner, he can't ever hit you. Like so. 
Uh, there's a slide category that he would do and take that long. Definitely. That's it. There were some long slide games out there. Well, if I didn't fail on Crystal Palace's Magician, this could have PB. This could potentially have PB'd up to one and a half minutes. This can still PB though. So I have to focus on the pan screen. This is the hardest screen of the level for us speedrunners. Definitely a focus intensive level as well. And I'm good to go. I'm yeah. good to go, I didn't die on the pan screen. It takes a lot of memory to learn this one. Okay, and what I did to, by going to the left there is, I jumped over the, the Dark Rayman spawn, so I am not being chased by Dark Rayman now. I basically turned this screen into a chill screen. It's a one second or so time loss to get rid of Dark Rayman. It is. Everything looks so good in this game. And if you uh, have a sugar rush, this is the level for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow! Two, two, two times in a row, bad cloud RNG. Well, it's actually a height cycle, it's insane. Bad height cycle on the cloud, two times in a row. Can I get the Choco clip? The infamous Choco clip. I did not get the chuckle yeah. clip. <laughs> Clown skip. You have to do that very specifically the way I did there. Um, you just want to do a full jump on the spot. Then, um, you need to jump into the clown as well. After that. Nice hangless. Yes, it was really bad. <laughs> now you have much better internet. Yes, definitely. You missed the part earlier in the one where I did that with uh, Space Mama's Crater with the Magician. As soon as I beat the Magician, I death abused back up to the photographer. Oh, actually no, also there is Bongo Hills, uh, with screen 3, where you, you get the cage and you fall down the hole and then you, um, continue from the magician's point, uh, the photographer's point. Final boss time, and guys, I'm gonna actually have to say this, but this can be a marathon PB, and I haven't PB'd in this category in a long time. This could have been 132, if it weren't for that. That, that unfair low height I got off of that red ring. Well, I'd have to use 50 seconds, Chrissy, <laughs> to not get it. Hopefully we free cycle this. Yep, we free cycle. How many double hits can we get? It's frame perfect, by the way. Get them. Nope. 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 <laughs> one. We got one double at least. Nice. That I'm. That's the best way a marathon one can go.
I forgot to say time, Chrissy. I forgot to say time as soon as you hit the final health. You've done it. <laughs> My fault. <laughs> My fault. But that's a marathon PV. That's a 51 second PV. Oh, nice. 133. I'm, I'm 12 under estimate. That's awesome. So that was 100%, guys. 133.36. So there, that was a, uh, that was beat all screens, aka 100%, including all the magicians and the Mr. Sax boss fight. Now my any percent PB is a 120.53, so that's the difference pretty much. Probably about 11-12 minutes difference. So yeah, just a bit more content for you guys, getting to see those magicians. Yeah, that's a uh, Rayman. Every, every screen of Rayman. And that is a 51 second PB. In a marathon. Awesome. <laughs> but yeah, um, over to the next one, Aaron, and good luck to you. Peace. Uh, any, any, any closing words? <laughs> Donate to Chrissy's cause. <laughs> Help her out. <laughs> um, and yeah, um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, you've been a good company. And yeah, Fable is next with Luigi's Mansion. So we go from PlayStation to Nintendo. <laughs> so uh, good luck with Luigi's Mansion, fa the Fable. And uh, all the best, guys. Bye.